Hello, this is Peter with PM Designs. Today, I, in this video, I want to show you a really nice way to make this iridescent shader. It looks really nice, I think. You, you know, I've made like a, a kind of Hadouken looking thing, but yeah, you know, you could use it for whatever you wanted. Um, so yeah, I'll just get it. It's really quick, really easy. Uh, no, I'm not going to save that. So I'm just going to add a, let's just start with a sphere just to make it easy. All right, so we're going to go to our shader. Alright, so what we need for, you, you can use this, we don't need to change any of this, we're just going to add a, I'll just show you what we're going to add first, a layer weight node, and then we're going to add a color ramp, and then we are going to add a, what's it called, hue saturation, oh, sorry, hue slash saturation, and I'm just going to connect these all up first. Um, it's really, really easy, and we want to use the facing part of the layer weight. Okay, so you can see something has started to happen already. Just make that look nice with it. Yeah, you can see how we're going to do this. Yeah, so it means about facing where the camera is facing affects the color that you see. Um, so we're going to change these two colors on the color ramp, kind of like a spectrum. So we want purple and to purple. Uh, doesn't matter if it's exactly the same purple. And now we've got to change this. We need to change this to an HSL and adjust it to far. And then bam, done. Wow, easy. And um, you can't really see it so well on the sphere. If I deform this, I'll deform the sphere a bit so we can actually um, see what's going on with this. Let me just pop back into this view. You can't see it so well, but yeah, that's it basically. Really easy. I'm just going to do this so you can appreciate what's going on. I just deform this a little bit. Yeah, so there you go. That's it. Easy, huh? But really nice. Just to show you that again. Layer weight into color ramp, into hue saturation, and into the principled BSDF. The hue up here um, can adjust sort of which which is the the prominent color. Yeah. So if we bring it down to there, it's blue, and it goes through the cycle. You know, like a, a spectrum, like a rainbow. And the other the other settings on here don't really do much, so I just keep it on 0.5, and you get that really nice oily pearlescent effect. Uh, the value doesn't do much, the saturation won't do much, but yeah, there's your hue if you wanted to do that. And you could even animate this, you know, to have it kind of strobing. So yeah, there you go, easy. If you found that useful, please drop a like, and yeah, thanks very much.